Cincinnati Public Schools polled teachers, parents and partners about vaccine mandate mandates for employees, and the survey says wait until Monday. The board could make a call during their meeting, but they're already seeing plenty of debate. Reporter Larry Seward explains. For Claire Lerone Patterson, her kindergarten and second grade sons, last year's remote learning to protect people from coronavirus pushed their family with two working parents to the brink. My kids' mental health, my own mental health was very difficult. So when Cincinnati Public Schools texts wondering if she supports mandatory vaccinations for staff. I don't know if them being forced is the right th way to go. When we look at the Delta variant, what's going on in Israel, I mean, I think there are some legitimate concerns about uh, the spread of the virus again. Mike Morosky chairs public policy committee meetings for the CPS Board of Education, but the issue is hardly theirs alone. COVID-19 vaccines have emergency authorization, but not FDA approval. Until then, legal experts say companies forcing employees to take shots risk losing lawsuits for negligence. Still a Houston hospital suspended employees who refused vaccine. Some sued. Then after a federal judge ruled against the workers, 153 were fired or quit. That's where we'll probably head. Mercy Health's chief clinical officer says Southwest Ohio hospitals are discussing responsible mandates. Already, UC Health and others require employees to take vaccine for tuberculosis, hepatitis, and the flu. But if you come into a um, healthcare facility, um, there's a reasonable expectation that you're going to be safe. If there is a, a vaccine um, that is available, safe, good, um, that um, everyone can participate in, that becomes an expectation. Morosky says his district's goal is simple. We don't want to close schools. We want our schools to be open five days a week all year next year. So they surveyed unions who prefer incentives over mandates and community groups and parents. Of the 7,000 who chimed in, 43% want staff to have a choice. 16% are undecided. Patterson is one. She's against forcing people to do anything, but... I'm torn about it because I can understand that some people could have either a health condition, or a personal reason to not get the vaccine. Yeah. But for me as a parent, I really need my kids to go to school. Vaccine mandates are on the agenda for Cincinnati School Board meeting on Monday. And if there is consensus one way or another, they will vote. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.